I've uh, had the camera in the shed before. All right. So, got the shed at the house. All the toys stacked in here. It's it's a shed compared to the shop. It's a shop. <laughs> where I'm standing is basically where the truck can park. And uh, yeah, this is where uh, the S2000 has been hiding. She's got a little dust on her, so got to get cleaned off. Last time we used it was um, that's right, yeah, the Optum Autocross. Still got the the Hell Yeah Brothers on here. I think just for fun tomorrow we're going to run these Advance and kind of just uh, you know get a get more of a feel for what they're like and also it'll be a fun challenge see if we can top packs in SSM on street tires so we're going to stick a fresh battery in it and hopefully that's all it needs make some room and get it out of here try again stop Parked that out of the way for a few minutes. I like this battery box because it's a cool little battery box, but annoyingly placed being under the seat. But also kind of sneaky. This thing had a good run for a number of years with a lithium battery, and then. It was cranking a little slow with the lithium battery, so we're like, okay, well, let's just go back to an AGM. So we went to the store, got an AGM, uh, ETX 14, standard East Penn manufactured AGM, and we put it in fresh for Optima, and we got there, and it wouldn't start the car anymore. It's pretty much bad right out of the box. We charged it up that night, next morning. Nope. We had to jump start the car for the whole event and get it back on the trailer. So, got a fresh one. We'll give it another go. This box is built uh, for an ETX tw up to a 20, is the sizing. So, I have a little bit of some shims here. And we'll just stick these back in how they were. Just, uh, Test right. it, make sure it works. Yep. All right. One the crank. The fuel pumps sound pretty strong. Lots of fuel. All right. Perfect. Get it plugged in all the way and bolted down tight, and we'll try and start it. Mm hmm. All right. Let's see if it starts. Crank it for a minute for some oil. Better give it a go while it's got anything. Passenger harness out of the BMW. Mm -hmm. I'll get this wrapped up. Oh, I figured you'd drive it tomorrow. It's a little late for a drive, I think, at this point. Yeah, it's too hot. Yeah, plus I don't think there's any fuel in it. We gotta find some E100 tomorrow morning, and I don't know what happened to the rear sway bar end link, so we'll check through the shop and see if we can dig that up. And yeah, we'll be ready to rock. Oof. All right, made it. Got the car all ready. Out here at Remington Park. It's been a little while since we've gone and uh, played with Cohen's, so should be fun.
First runs in. Yeah, a little sketch, but <laughs> it's a lot different on street tires. Yeah, but you know what? We need to learn these things. Apparently, the whole world races on street tires now, so we'll get there. Still fun. Always good to have the big bad wolf out. We I've owned this car now for more than ten years. It's a long time. Yep, it's a long time. Yep. All right, time for another run. Okay, well, annoyingly, I just went out for my second run and we heard a pop and the car got shaky. And it feels like the axle, uh, like one of the inner rear tripod bearings broke. I've kind of felt this before. It's an axle eater who loves it. Yeah, if it's just the bearing that broke, then we'll, we'll just pull it out and slap a new bearing in there and keep going. So uh, we're gonna run over to the shop. It's only about five minutes from here. Grab some bits. We'll be back here in no time, hopefully. Fresh one. Is that the roll the nothing? Up. Okay. I've never heard the sentence, I don't have a spare, I'll just rebuild them. Give me about 10 minutes. That's. You've done this time or two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can't say that anymore. <laughs> Hi. Got that uh, bearing replaced. Upstairs, some cleaning to do, but whatever. Man is gonna go take it for a test hit. Hopefully, we're good to go for at least another couple runs. See how it does. All right. Man is off. Pretty good outing for you know, yeah. Car that hasn't been out. Ran fine. It's got a fixed power delivery, so it's actually smooth like it used to be. I'm not sure exactly what happened. And then, then you actually focus on driving the car. Right now, it's just you're focusing on not, not spinning. blowing off yeah. the tires and where you're going to coast and apply power because you know you can't turn and do anything throttle related. So. Probably still have top time of the day by a couple seconds. Been a long weekend already. Got some things done. Got to go play with the cars a little bit. So, had some fun. And, uh, yeah, we'll be at work this week and hopefully uh, make some progress on the Miatas. And, uh, need to get tuning this S2000. Need to get it, you know, back up to the top. So, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.